Hello everybody, Tony for Full Auto Group. Today I'm taking you through a Coachman Freedom Express 320 BHD SLE. That's a mouthful. This is done in our Liberty Edition. It's the first of its kind that I've had, so I'm probably going to miss something. So it's a good idea you come by and check this monster out. It is definitely a sight to see. I'm going to cover specs and features I can during this video, but rest assured I'm going to miss some. So come on by and check it out. You will not be disappointed. Let's jump right into some of the specs. We are 36 foot, 10 inches in overall length, weigh approximately 8,300 pounds empty with a GVW of 10,500 pounds. We haul 50 gallons of fresh water, 70 gallons of gray, 35 gallons of black. We have a six gallon gas and electric water heater and comfortable sleeping for up to eight people before you get creative. Let's start with some features. Up here in front, we have our fully molded front fiberglass cap with our window. That is done in a windshield material, just like your car. So with this following you down the roadway, there is nothing to fear. We have LED lights up each side of that window. As we come all the way down to the bottom, we have our dealer installed interstate deep cycle battery in a box. We have two five gallon, 20 pound LP tanks with the front power tongue jack. Over here, we have our repeater because this is equipped with tire pressure monitoring system from the factory. We also have a factory installed battery cutoff switch. This is a three slide out floor plan with a rear bunkhouse. So you'll have your two slide outs on your non enjoyment side of the trailer, which I call this it's your non door side. We have all our frameless windows up on the roof. We have our solar two air conditioners, both 15,000 BTU. We have our WineGuard Air 360, which gives you about 48 channels of crystal clear TV here that's free. It's a high definition off air. We have our dump valves. We have four points of power stabilization jacks, and they are the ones that come down and equalize themselves. So it's not just like a sister, scissor jack putting downward pressure on the ground. They actually push against each other and stabilize this coach very, very well. Here we have our pass-through storage with our 50 amp cord feeding those two air conditioners. We also have a griddle, a countertop, and a spare table, and you'll see why when we round around the other side. As I'm walking down this side, you're gonna see your two slide outs. Your bunkhouse is huge with this slide out. Lots of room for the family and all the friends. Here's all of your hookups, your outdoor shower, ladder going up onto your fully walkable roof. We are prepped for that rear observation camera, and that's not a backup camera. That is an observation camera. When you buy a coach, you need one of three things, either a backup camera, you need a two-way radio, one for you and one for your navigator, or most of the time the navigator is your wife, or it could be you if the wife drives. And in that case, you'll need a marriage counselor because trust me, you're going to say some stuff you regret every time you back this thing in. Up on the roof, you're going to find your nice large solar panel, which is Bluetooth controlled from an app on your phone. Around this side, we have our outdoor kitchen with our refrigerator, our plumb sink, tons of cabinets, LED light in there. This is LED lights inside and out. Coming down the side here, you're going to see this little track, and that's what your griddle hooks to. Down below, we have our quick connect for the LP line. We have a awning that extends out eight feet. It's double-sided black, keeps it nice and clean. You don't have the brown lines on the white material. We also have an LED light strip up against the side of the coach, so you don't have to have that awning out in adverse conditions. You can have this awning completely in and still get plenty of light. Down below that, you have your outdoor speakers, which is controllable by the music system inside. We have our Lippert solid steps and you get that big 13 inch top step. You leave your shoes behind when you go in if you want to, but you don't have to, that's your decision. This is Asdell construction. If you don't know what Asdell is, it's definitely worth the read. And of course it's a welded aluminum structure, foam block insulation and smooth fiberglass exterior. One of the best builds that you can get. Check out what Asdell is, it's definitely worth the read. All right. We are going to go inside. As I go inside, I want to point out that you have a leash holder and a bottle opener. You can have a beer with your best friend. Going inside, we're going to see our residential style linoleum. Solid surface countertops. Nice booth dinette. Roller shades throughout, so they completely black you out. You don't have any silhouetting through a pleated shade, and you don't have any clanky metal blinds. Turning some more, we have our heat and massaging. Theater seating by Thomas Paine, and there's lights in it. I'm just not hooked up to 110, so I'm not giving you the full glory of this unit. Spin a little bit more. We have our fireplace, which is a great heater. Again, I'm not plugged into 110, so it's not going to work. And we have our TV right above that in case, same case with that as well. 
As I spin a little more, you're going to see solid surface counters everywhere. Nice large island, farmhouse stainless steel sink, residential faucet with sprayer, all stainless steel appliances. Now check out that fridge. That's a 10 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. That is efficient as your residential refrigerator. You don't have to deal with the absorption refrigerator where the ambient temperature dictates its performance. Here we have our pantry so you can store all the food for the amount of people that this can sleep and check out that door you know what that door means their bedtime is not your bedtime if you know what i mean you got kids you put them in the bunk beds that are in the wide open you sometimes either have to get out or go to bed here you don't here's our sofa top bunk which the bunk will lift up to get off of their heads as we come inside here i'm gonna spin a little bit and we have another nice large bunk right there and all of their clothing storage. You can put a TV back here. They have plenty of floor space. And this is awesome. Now, as we go through this, we're going to walk through and you're going to see the bathroom is in the front of the coach. I truly appreciate that because most bunk houses, they are in the rear of the coach. Where you have to walk the entire trailer... If you wear your boxers, that could be a problem. You have to wear pajamas now. You have to walk the entire trailer because most of the time it is positioned back by the bunkhouse. This is up in the master area. And not only that, it has a Jack and Jill entrance. So you can enter from the bedroom as well. We have our porcelain toilet, residential height sink, nice large corner shower. And you're not having to walk the entire trailer and sit down by your kid's head and use a restroom in the middle of the night. Trust me, it's not comfortable. Here we have our... Queen bed with your window right above it. There is a blind to shut off any light coming through there, but you also have windows at each side of the bed for a nice cross breeze and tons of walk around room. This bed does lift up and it is framed all in aluminum, just like the trailer. There's your second air conditioner, keeping it nice and cool in here. And if I kept walking, I could walk right back out and there's your pocket door that blocks off the bedroom. And you also have a solid pocket door for the bathroom as well. All right. I'm going to kind of inch my way around here. There's the bathroom door right where we went in. There are so many features to this unit. It's definitely a sight to see. So come on out and check this out. I'm going to pan around, kind of give you a lay of the land. All LED lights inside and out. Don't forget about the solar. All right. One last feature as I go out the door, I'm going to show you a huge closet. Nice place for shoes and everything you want to hang up. Check that out. They're not going to slide while you're driving because they have their own little retainer holes for the hangers so they don't slide back and forth on a bar. And that's a huge closet. Your control panel here controls everything. And then it goes over your owner's manual, which is accessible from an app. Huge. Plenty of room for the whole family. Plenty of room for the cook. Plenty of room for the kids. The adults with their own private entrance to the bathroom. All right, let's go back outside. I'm gonna start my 13 inch top step so I don't get a running start. A lot of times that's where my shoes would be. So I would step right back into my shoes. All right, let's stand back. I'm gonna recap what we just saw extremely fast, but come on out and check this thing out. All right, this is our Coachman Freedom Express Liberty Edition 320 BHD SLE. Say that 10 times fast. We're 36 foot, 10 inches in overall length, weigh approximately 8,300 pounds unloaded with a GVW of 10,500 pounds. We haul 50 gallons of fresh water, 70 gallons of gray, 35 gallons of black, have a six gallon gas and electric water heater and comfortable sleeping for up to eight people. Now, some of the features, your nice molded front fiberglass cap with that window and LED lights up each side. You got power jacks all the way around, all corners and the tongue jack. Heating and closed underbelly, Asdell construction, power awning with LED light strip, two air conditioning units. Going to keep this thing really cool and very comfortable. Solid surface countertops, heated massaging, theater seating, outdoor kitchen, solar up on the roof. We have our flat panel TV, fireplace, probably said that twice now, queen size bed, the bathroom located up near the master, which is unique in any bunkhouse because it's normally in the very back of the trailer near the bunk. You got to walk that whole trailer every night, sit down next to your kid's head and be as quiet as you can. Think about it. All right, everybody. So come on out and check this out. 209-404-2200. Check us out on the web at www.referralautogroup.com. As always, we're not strong arm salespeople. We're not going to hustle and hassle you to you buy. We're going to educate you and leave that buying decision completely up to you. You find it hard to believe? Come on out. Check us out. Let me know if you feel anything different. If you've been in, then you know it's true. 
We're a full service facility. We have our service center catering to all our clients' warranty, repair, and upgrade needs. We even outfit the tow vehicles to safely tow this or fifth wheel down the road. Even your tow vehicle behind a motorhome, we can get that set up for you too. We have on-site financing, parts, and supplies for the home of the forever warranty. It's a nationwide lifetime warranty with a zero deductible on covered components. Come on out and check us out. 209-404-2200. Website's www.referralautogroup.com. As always, thanks for watching. We truly appreciate it. We look forward to meeting you. Take care.